Hello friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to understand how we can see the size of the file in a Windows PowerShell. So these are the um, uh, people have asked for the multiple times to me uh, how we can validate the uh, size and how we can check. So that was a very uh, simple solution. Uh, we can see the size in different uh, size format like KB, uh, MB, and GB. You can change to the uh, TB also. So right now I have one file which I have recently uh, in the C drive this location and I want to get the size of this file. So these are simple. We'll get the uh, get item through the file parameter. This is a define which will pass the value to the file variable and will get the value of the length of that file using the length divided by one KB. So this will basically divide your length into the KB. Similar way, it's MB and GB. So this will basically calculate and it will basically if you want to add the assign this variable to the different then you can uh, define the same location uh, same logic like uh, simply if I do this one uh, let me copy this one okay so this will create a variable if I want to give the variable test so this will add the your value here so this is basically uh, uh, how we can define the value and how we can assign so let's see how it is working so i have run this code and if you see this basically run and uh, it will print this value like kb b and G. so basically the file size in the kb this is mb59 mb and the same size comes in the gb so basically this will run this three command and how we can validate the file value. If there is a folder and I want the inside that folder details uh, uh, that size, so how we can do so? This will run the get child details and we are passing the folder here and we are passing the recursive. So if I want to the check the internal folders file, so that also we can do recursively. So I am running this command. So this will run for the internal folder size, folders, all files. See here, let me expand. So this will run the all your files and it will share you the size. So this will come to the MB. Uh, in the same video, I will attach the script so you can refer for the how to get the file size through PowerShell. Mm -hmm.